Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome one more Friday to Coffee Break with Tara by Laura Gonzalez. My name is Laura Gonzalez. Laura Gonzalez. Laura Gonzalez. For those who may be curious. It's so funny. I'm so used to say it, you know, Laura Gonzalez. And I don't say it on Spanish anymore. Laura. Laura Gonzalez. Either way, I'd rather you say it in English, please. Thank you. And today, today we have learning the card of the day. And I miss you on Wednesday. I was not available on Wednesday. And I was not available on Wednesday because I was getting my COVID vaccine. And I will recommend to every single one of you that you get it as soon as you are able, please. So we can go back to have our new world. We are not going to go back to having the old world that we used to have. It's just not going to happen. Uh, but we will have a brand new one. And the sooner everybody is vaccinated, the fastest that we all will go back to some kind of world. <laughs> to some kind of world it will not be the same but it will be just as beautiful i promise you that even more beautiful i think because we will be more uh cautious with each other of course we're gonna have the assholes that are gonna be like oh, nothing happened it was a lie mm. did i just say that out loud i think i did hi jacinta hi my blair good morning good morning good morning I want to show you, you can see it on Instagram, but you cannot see it on, on Facebook. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you my shirt, nap queen. <laughs> all right. It's not all glamor. Sometimes I, you know, I just wake up when I do this. I just woke up like maybe 20 minutes ago. Ah, oh, yes. These are my pajamas. Such is life. All right, people, you know what to do, right? Bring your question to your mind. Let's see what the card comes up. First, we're going to give the message from the card. And then we are going to explain how we come up to such message. And we have the Eight of Wands reverse. As I started this video with my energy all over the place and this is literally what this card means is having our energy scattered all over the place and what kind of energy well creative energy sexual impulses uh, movement and creativity and that seemed to be all over the place is like there is no order or constant or you know we are just not focused we are you know doing a lot of things everything at the same time and literally our energy is so scattered um is that good is that bad i don't know i am not the one that needs to use judgment to understand what is going on through your life only you know if that is good or if that is bad, you know, but cheers. Mm. I got my Chicago mug today. Um, so how do we come up to that conclusion that our energy is all over the place and scattered and not focus or, or sexual energy or our creativity, etc. Well, First of all, I'm going to tell you what the card right side up means. It is a number eight, Roman numeral eight. 
And I think it's really important that people know the Roman numerals when you're reading the tarot, because if you don't know the Roman numerals, you're going to have a hard time. So this is a number eight on Roman, Roman numerals. And the ones, I think I explained the ones before, but I don't mind explaining them again. The ones are these little sticks like uh, little pieces of wood, but it's not dead wood. It's not dry. There are little sprouts coming out of the ones. There is life in them. Even though they might be separated from the tree, there is life still growing on the wand. Think about a stick that you can actually put on water and this will grow roots and will create a tree or whatever. So that means that there is life and this represents the element of fire and fire, um, is related to sexual impulses, creativity, creation, um, artistry. Also, because this hat could be like fever, so it could be related to our health and um, faith, because the passion of our belief system or faith is also related to fire. So as you can see, it could be so many things. And with tarot, that is kind of the point that it could be so many things because reading one card, one single card by itself, you have to be extremely vague and general. Yeah, your energy is scattered all over the place because I don't have any more information. But if I had other cards laid out with it, then I could fix the story put the story together with at least two or three scenes of the same story because that is what tarot reading is is telling a story according to the images that you have so again going back to the meaning of the ones uh, fire and everything that is associated with fire so creativity movement passion faith um health fever hot hotness um a healing fire or a destructive fire, right? It could be either or. And the number eight is a number uh, that if you turn it around is like the infinite sign, <laughs> like on my ring, the infinite sign. And that infinite sign is telling us this is almost it. There is so much energy that is tied up to the number eight. It's almost the end. It's not quite yet the end, but it's almost the end. Number eight means we're not going back. We're just going to finish. We're just going to continue uh, working towards whatever task is at hand. And so the eight of ones right side up will be like you're so concentrated. You're ready to finish your task. You are focused and you have all your eggs on one basket, so to speak. And when the card is reversed, the way I interpret the lesser arcana when the cards are reversed is a complete opposite. So your energy is scattered. It's all over the place. You probably are having too many projects, too many tabs open on your computer, too many projects that you haven't really paid attention to. Maybe one too many lovers that you don't need to be having at this moment. Not judging. Uh, you do you, boo. Um, or maybe your faith is not strong at this moment. Maybe you're having questions. Maybe you're having doubts. Um, maybe you are feeling that you're not creative. Maybe you're having creator's block, right? Because the energy is not concentrated. So that's what's up for the card for the weekend. And I want to give you all an Oracle card reading because we did not have an oracle reading on Wednesday and Blair is leaving a comment there but I had to move the phone so excuse me IGTV uh, Blair says yeah that's me this week uh, it feels I concur that I feel that my energy is all over the place I need to uh, change one of my many calendars 
is still stuck here on March 20, March 20th. And I just have so much to do that I haven't been able to update my calendar. It's just ridiculous. Um, too much going on. All right, let's see what this Oracle has for all of us today. And we have, don't make assumptions, be aware of unconscious, as, unconscious assumptions. That is the, the reading of the card. And it says assumptions are made so fast and unconsciously most of the time because we have agreements to communicate this way. We have agreed that it is not safe to ask questions. We have agreed that if people love us, they should know what we want or how we feel. That is not the truth. You have to communicate. So be aware of unconscious assumptions. And the message is assumptions are made so fast and unconsciously most of the time because we have agreements to communicate this way. We have agreed that it is not safe to ask questions. We have agreed that if people love us, they should know what we want or how we feel. Sound familiar? Yes, folks. Okay. Uh, have a good weekend. Goodbye, IGTV. I'm always afraid that the, my IGTV video is not going to upload because it's too long. Thank you all for watching. I will see you Monday when we will have tarot reading for the week. And please get your vaccine as soon as you're able. And never forget that you are loved. Bye-bye.